Jesse, this is uh, the Yahtzee bow that I made, and this is the axe that I'm working on right now. This is a casting from a fellow in England that I'm going to fit to the head of this axe. And you see a couple of stone axes, just for experimental purposes. But this is the axe I used to roughly shape that bow. And this is a hammered axe head compared to the cast axe head. And you can see that the cast axe head is also hammered. But hammering hardens copper. And these are copper busts. And I made this hammered axe head from one of these copper buses simply by hammering with a, the round end of a ball peen hammer. And here you can see different copper buses I have. They're slightly different thicknesses. And that's what I made uh, an axe out, or am making an axe out of uh, trying to make my own Otzi axe. And that's going to be the handle for one. I have other handles I'm working, but this is the axe that I use to shape this bow. And it's simply, I drilled out and shaped uh, the slot for it. And you can see it's narrower on one side than the other and then tapered uh, a uh, bus bar and hammered it down. And you'd be surprised the difference between a stone axe and a uh, hammered copper axe. But I told you the back of the bow it's going to be difficult I think to see this but as you can see there's a lot of different growth rings exposed on the bow. As you go down the length of it And the surprising thing about this is most of the sapwood has been cut off, shaved off, and it's almost impossible to follow a single growth ring on you. So we, I didn't do it, and this bow shoots and just keeps on shooting. And you can see that it's kind of a roughly rectangular cross section, but it bends through the handle, and it's full compass. And when I find the dimensions, I'll send those off to you.